Just wave your hands and just thank the Lord for his love. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's a gap in love. His love never changes. What a wonderful love. What a free love. What an inspiring love. The love of God. The love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God this time. We'll be asking Sister Latoya Thomas. She'll be praying for the night service. Pray for the preaching of the word of God. Hallelujah. The word is already anointed, but we need the Lord to intervene in a special way. That somebody will be filled with the Holy Ghost tonight. Somebody will be reclaimed. Somebody that in their house, somebody that are passing by will hear the word and rush and come over and and delivered by the word of the Lord Jesus. God bless you, Sister Thomas, in the name of the Lord. Nobody else like my Jesus. Yes, Lord. Nobody else like him. the great high priest. Lord, we give you glory. We magnify your great name today, Lord. Hallelujah. There is no God that can ever be compared to you, almighty God. Hallelujah. You are God all by yourself. You reign supreme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. You are the conquering lion, Jesus of the tribe of Judah and so we come today Lord entering into your gates Lord with thanksgiving in our hearts and praise in our mouths tonight Lord oh God as we enter your courts my father I pray that God our praises will be acceptable hallelujah before you mighty God as we come tonight Lord Jesus we're presenting this service before you my God we pray for your direction we pray for your inspiration my God upon everything that will be done that will be said Lord we pray that you will be glorified Lord and as you're glorified father that you will draw men unto yourself tonight Jesus oh God you said in your words that if we lift you up Lord then you will draw men unto yourself father and so tonight God as we come to lift you up let all things be done that your name be glorified anoint the preacher as he preached tonight Lord give him that spirit of boldness Lord that spiritual authority that he needs oh God to deliver your word my God we pray that your words will 
you go forth in this community. The young men, the old men, Lord, the young women, the old women, Lord Jesus, the children, my God. I pray that you will pour out of your spirit tonight, God, upon all flesh. Oh, God, I pray that men will run to your throne. My God, hastily needing your great salvation. Pour out your spirit tonight, God, as we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord God, and we're expecting mighty God. A great move of you tonight, Lord, as we worship you. Let your will be done in this place as we give you praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm free. I've been set free by the grace of God. I am free. No more the path of sin and truth. chapter 4, reading from verse 12 to 24. Praise, Jesus. Praise the Lord. All find it? Say amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is up on the sea coast, in the borders of Zabulon and Naphtali. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying. The land of Zabulon and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan. Galilee of the Gentile. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. Yes. And to them which sat in, re in the region and shadow of death light is sprung up. From that time Jesus began to preach to the and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, 
casting in a, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee with their fathers, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their fathers and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Praise 24 God. and last. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that they were taken with diverse disease Praise and God. torments. And those which were possessed, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. Praise, praise the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord God. Jesus. Praise God. Come on, lift those hands and praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe the man is a healer, come on, raise your hands God. to him. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's one of the greatest God. healers. Hallelujah. Praise God. When he heals and he does his work, he leaves no scar. Praise, praise God. God. Our missions director, Minister Horrell Sr., praise will just God. greet us in the name of the Lord. Praise, praise God. God. Praise, praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord at a time. Praise Clap your hands Lord for the Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. Praise, God. praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God tonight. Amen. We want to greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Praise God. And he's also, amen, our King. Praise God of King and is the Lord of Lord. Praise God. Special greeting tonight to our visiting speaker. Amen. Minister Sheldon Smith. Praise the Lord Jesus. Greetings to Minister Thomas and Sister Thomas. Amen. From Little Bethlehem, United Pentecostal Church. We want to greet them. Amen. And greetings to the saints. Amen. The group from Pentecostal Tabernacle, Hellshire. Praise the Lord Jesus as we're ministering to us. Amen. In a while. Praise God. And special greetings to all the members of this community. Praise, Praise God. God. Of Sharper Lane. Amen. To you visiting friends that are here with us, those under the sound of our voice, I want to greet you in Jesus' name. Praise and for those God. that are on, praise amen, the online platform, praise the Lord, I want to also greet you in Jesus' name. And amen, we are in our second Thank night you. of our missions crusade, praise God, praise under the theme, God. Jesus now, praise the name of the praise Lord. And God. indeed, and if there's any time that people need Jesus, it's now. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus. And we are giving God thanks for this one soul that was baptized, um, received the Holy Ghost Praise last God. night. Amen. Hallelujah. The first God. night uh, of our missions crusade. Praise Just keep your hands together for hallelujah. the Lord and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. And I believe tonight there are still empty vessels that are in amen on this part of ground that can be filled amen. with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord Jesus. Worship the Lord God with us tonight. Amen. Give God all the glory, all the praise. Praise the name of the Lord. We know we have limited time here. Amen. This evening, but we're going to utilize the time that we have wisely to give God the glory and give God the praise because God is the controller of all times in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Minister Oral Senior. How great is our God! How great is His name! He's the greatest one, forever the same. He rolled back the water from the mighty Red Sea. He said, I need you, put your trust in me. How great is our God, how great is His name, He's the greatest one, forever the same, He rolled back the water from the mighty Red Sea, He said I need 
to put your trust in me. Trust in me. How great is our God? How great is His name? He's the greatest one forever. The same. He rolled by the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He said, "I need you. Put your trust in me." How great is our God? Short, praise, praise God. God. Praise, God. praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 
Yes. God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. One more, one more, one more. Praise God. One more testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is to me. The mighty God, the counselor, Prince of Peace is he. Saving me, keeping me. From all sin and shame, wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me, the mighty God, the Counselor, Prince of Peace is He, saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Jump up and testify for the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Oh. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Bless our Lord. Another one. Praise the Lord. Another testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We have come to the end of our testimony. God has been good. He's been great. I just want to thank him. Praise the Lord Jesus for another night in this crusade. Praise the Lord. We're on the battlefield for the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we're going to fight. Fight until we die. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. And now turn over to Sister Pinock in Jesus' name. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. I too have gotten a testimony. You're looking at a miracle. Oh, God Almighty, you're looking at a wayward woman that the Lord has snatched from sin. And today, tonight, I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Not by silver or by gold, but by that great blood of Jesus tonight. I am feeling so free. Praise the Lord. Since Jesus passed by. Jesus passed by. Come stand with me, everybody. Oh, what a difference since Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, just lift your hands and just love the Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. We honor the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, for he is good and his mercy endure it forever. We come to let somebody know about Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The question is asked, do you know Jesus does he live in your heart? Hallelujah, hallelujah. We come to proclaim Christ and to make Christ known tonight. Hallelujah. He's the only, the only saving name. And that name is Jesus. 
Come on, shout his name one more time. Hallelujah. Shout it. Let your neighbors hear. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is so good to know Jesus. From the day I met God, hallelujah. From the day I met this man that is called Christ Jesus, my life was never the same. Hallelujah. And God just keep transforming and adding and subtracting from my life. That makes me the person who I am today. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give the Lord praise. Because God did not throw your clay away. He molded it and he shaped it into what you are today. And so we give him praise. Hallelujah.
praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's give God the glory, the praise. Hallelujah. Do you know Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus now. Praise God. Let's stand and lift our hands to the Lord. Praise God. Somebody burdened soul can find liberty tonight. Hallelujah. There's mercy. There's grace. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus now. Praise God. And in this beautiful atmosphere of worship, praise God. Our speaker for tonight is Minister Sheldon Smith. Amen. And the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. Something got a hold on me. Oh, something, something got a hold on me. I went to church one night. My heart was not right. Something got a hold on me. Something got a hold on me. Something got a hold on me. I went to the church one night. Was that right? Something got a hold on me. One more time, church. One more time. Something got a hold on me. Something got a hold on me. Hold on me. I went to church one night, and my heart was not right. The atmosphere is charged. Hallelujah. Somebody need the Holy Ghost. Somebody need to be baptized tonight. Somebody need a miracle tonight. Somebody need deliverance tonight. We are the prayer warriors. We are the worshipers. We are the Holy Ghost filled baptized people. Somebody begin to wave your hand. Yes, yes. Somebody wave your hand. Somebody begin to worship. When we praise him, the blessing will come down. I feel the 
Holy Ghost. Is there anybody feel the Holy Ghost? I feel the Holy Ghost. It's gonna rain. Glory to God. It's gonna rain. Yes, we come to disturb the neighbor. Yes, God, we come to disturb down. the atmosphere. Jesus down. is in town tonight. Down. Somebody say Jesus. 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 Somebody say Jesus. 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 Somebody shout Jesus. Lord. One more time. Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Oh, God Almighty. Mighty God. Mighty Jesus, God. let me be of myself. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God Almighty. Miracle, Lord. The Holy Ghost power is right in here. You're right anyhow. Amen. People don't believe it. We take the opportunity to greet the presence of the Lord. Great God. The Holy Ghost, the Paracletus, the Comforter, the Lily of the Valley, the Bright and Morning Star. Hallelujah. Oh, God, without Him, I am nothing. It's Jesus Hallelujah. that made me something. Uh, it's not my education, praise God. It's not my friends. Uh, uh, it's Jesus that Jesus. made me something. Uh, is there anybody love Jesus tonight? Uh, is there anybody love Jesus tonight? I love Jesus. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. I want to take this opportunity. I love Jesus. To greet I love Jesus. the man of God, Pastor Moncrief, and Lady Moncrief. Bless him, Lord. Greeting the much listening name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And the great glory, Minister glory. Thomas, glory, Minister glory. Oral Cena, and all the other ministers that are here. Hallelujah. And all of my father's children, save and unsaved. Yes, Lord. Yes, I want to greet you in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah. Our soon coming King. Yes. I wanted to greet the praise God if you have your Bible to turn with me, praise God, to one of my favorite scriptures. Oh uh, God, hallelujah. Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. I'm just going to read just one verse. Matter of fact, two verses say the same thing. Verse 3 and verse 5. It says, And I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Everybody say repent. Repent. Everybody say repent. Repent. Except ye repent. Repent. Ye shall all. All. Likewise. Likewise. Perish. Perish. I tell you nay. But except ye repent. Ye shall all. Likewise. Likewise. Perish. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your words. Your word, Lord. God, we thank you for this opportunity. To be on this spot of ground. Lord, let your words go forth right now. Like a flaming sword. Cut and divide as a sun. Lord Jesus, bring back the heart of your people back to you, God. Uh, let every burdens lifted up. Every prison doors open. Every blind eyes let they see. Lord God, we bind, praise God, and we loose right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your only, your will be done right now. We push back against every attack right now in the spirit, uh, physically and spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray tonight that God, somebody will yield themselves to you. Somebody will repent of their sin. Somebody will receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Somebody will be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And somebody will be surrendered in the name of Jesus. We come in agreement right now. Hallelujah. Let it be done right now according to your words. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We say amen. Can everybody say amen? Everybody say amen. Uh, you may be seated. Praise God if you can. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise uh, perish. Yes, yes. That's the word of God. We are living in an unprecedented period which the prophet Isaiah identified this generation as one that called evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We live in a world that loves the things that God hates uh, and hate the things that God loves. 
But one must understand that the adversary, the devil, that old dragon, praise God, hallelujah, that there is no safety outside of the will of God. Ah, oh, the enemy wants us to believe, praise God, that there is life outside of the will of God. Yes, the enemy wants us to believe, praise God Almighty, that real life is outside of the will of God. But in the name of Jesus, we come to declare that the enemy is a liar. Everybody said the devil is a liar. One must understand, beloved, that this prophetic season is an indication, a warning to all that the end of all things is at hand. Praise God. Every time we see and hear the horrific news and the events, oh God, it's a testament that we are living in a perilous time. The Bible also call it the time of Jacob trouble. Uh, the last days, the end of days. Uh, the Bible give us this intelligence, praise God, because iniquity uh, shall abound. The love of many shall walk school. Uh, the Lord give us this instruction in Luke chapter 6 uh, and verse 25. He said, Who unto you uh, that are full for God Almighty? Uh, for he shall hunger, praise God. Uh, Who unto you that laugh now, for he shall mourn uh, and weep. Uh, Oftentimes, brothers and sisters, praise God, we sing the song that the best is yet to come. But I'm here to warn somebody tonight, praise God, that the best is yet to come for only those that are born again, blush, wash, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. In other words, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, that is listening near and far, if you are in sin, I come to warn you that the best is yet not yet to come. But the worst is yet to come. Oh, the church is quiet. And that's the reason why the Bible said, Oh, God, because you think it's peace and safety. Sudden destruction. Oh, God, the church is quiet. Sudden destruction shall come upon you as a trail. Oh, God, a travailing woman. In other words, brothers and sisters, anytime that you are without of the will of God, oh, look for trouble. Every time, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen that you live in sin look for trouble and that's why we are here to warn somebody that Jesus is coming back and when Jesus come back this time he's not coming back as a friend but he's coming back as a oh God the church is quiet he's coming back for a judge and that's why we can't hold our peace we got to preach the gospel in season and out of season and even when they don't listen we still got to preach the gospel uh, to tell every man that Jesus uh, is coming back. Uh, I read the Bible, praise God, uh, about Jeremiah the prophet. Uh, the Bible said for 40 years, uh, Jeremiah preached the gospel uh, to Israel to tell them uh, that Jesus is about to judge. Uh, for 40 years, Jeremiah preached, uh, but nobody listened. Uh, nobody repented. Uh, nobody served God. Uh, it comes a time the Bible said, uh, Jeremiah was upset. He said, God, I'm confused because I want to think, praise God, that when you send me to preach the word, that people will repent. People will run, come to the altar. But the more I preach, it's the opposite I see. Oh, God Almighty, it comes a time, praise God, that Jeremiah get discouraged because the people that he was preaching to was a rebellious nation. It was a rebellious people. Jeremiah said, listen, I'm not going to preach the gospel anymore. I'm going to hold my peace. I'm going to shut my mouth. But the Bible said, when Jeremiah tried to shut up his mouth, the Bible said that there was a fire, oh God Almighty. There was a fire inside of him. Oh God Almighty. Push it up, praise God. He could not hold his peace. He got to preach it. But there comes a time, praise God. Jeremiah, look what is happening. And he saw the judgment of the Lord. Jeremiah wrote, praise God. The harvest is past and the summer is ended. But we are not saved. I come to tell this community, oh God Almighty, it's time for us to get saved. It's time for you to repent of your
your sins. It's time for you to see the name of Jesus. It's time for you to baptize in the name of Jesus Christ and to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, I got somebody to repent. Somebody to repent. It was Isaiah who said, For Zion's sake, we will not all our peace. And for, a Jew, for Jerusalem's sake, we will not rest until righteousness, therefore, go forth as a brightness and salvation, therefore, as a lamp in the burning. We come to tell this community, although Jamaica is going the wrong road, we will not all our peace. We will not rest until righteous, oh God Almighty, I wish I was in our church, a Holy Ghost church, until righteousness run out like the oh God Almighty, like the river stream. The Bible give us in its day. The Bible says, Jesus said, except he repent, he shall all likewise perish. When you read the scripture, brothers and sisters, the Bible tell me that the disciple was saying to Jesus, have you heard, praise God, what Pilate did with the Galatian brothers, how they killed them, praise God, and used their blood to mingle in sacrifice. Jesus said, do you believe, praise God, that these Galileans was more sinners than anybody else, but except he repent he shall all likewise perish Jesus said have you heard what take place in Salome oh the temple praise God oh, came down and it killed 16 people do you believe praise God that these 16 people were more sinner than anybody else but except he repent he shall all likewise perish I'm going to feel the Holy Ghost. In other words, brothers and sisters, oftentimes, praise God, we look, praise God, what is happening in our country. And we believe, praise God, that we are blessed more than anybody else. We are blessed more than Haiti with all the destruction, all the earthquake. But the Bible said, except you repent, you shall all likewise. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. You shall all likewise perish. The Bible said, because a sentence is not executed speedily. The heart of men is set to do evil. Let me put it down. Because when you sh shoot a man, but you rob a man, but you're living a life of sin, but you're living a life of adultery and fornication, but you backbite, when you gamble, when you drink, praise God, and in reveling, God never come down and judge you same time. Uh, you believe you get to, oh God. Uh, you believe you get to. Uh, you believe that God is on a far journey. Uh, you believe that God not see. Uh, but the Bible said because he's long suffering. Ah, uh, oh God Almighty. Uh, the reason why he don't judge you yet uh, is because he's long suffering. Uh, but he said to you, repent uh, of your sin uh, and be converted. Uh, every one of you uh, in the name uh, of Jesus, oh God, the church is quiet. Ah, oh, that's why we are here, brother, to tell somebody to repent. It's repentance for the murderer. It's repentance for the rapist. It's repentance for the general. It's repentance for the hypocrite. Everywhere you go, man need to repent. The Bible says. The Bible says, and even before I go to the scripture. We often preach that before God judge, he always warn. Oh God. We always preach. But when I study my Bible, that is not so. Oh God Almighty. The Bible says that there was a time, praise God, oh, that the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah came up to God's nostrils. Oh God, the church is quiet. God never sent a preacher, dear. 
He never said an evangelist. He never said an bishop. He never said, oh God, a prophetess. He never have a street service. They never have, oh God, a crusade. They never have a motorcade. They never have a chart distribution. But God judged them. God never said a judgment. God never said a warning to them. The only thing God spoke was to Abraham. When he's about to destroy Solomon Gomorrah, the Bible said when he was leaving, he said, how oh, can I, oh God, hold this thing from Abraham? Oh God. And it was Abraham who was interceding for God Almighty, for Saddam and Gomorrah. And that's why Jesus said that if the great works that was done, praise God, in you and here, was done, praise God, in Saddam and Gomorrah, they would have repented in sackcloth and ashes. Jesus said, it's going to be more bearable for Saddam and Gomorrah, oh God Almighty, oh God, the church is quiet, than for you, because of the things that have been done, was done in Saddam and Gomorrah, they might be would have repented. Saddam and Gomorrah is going to stand up with this generation in the time of judgment. Oh God, we have more church per capita, but yet still, increase of iniquity is so rampant. Now, we are trying to make sin glamorous. The latest songs, everybody's dancing to it. Everybody's, oh God, memorizing it. The most vile of songs. Even the school you're seeing being promoted. Uh, things that was not once a uh, um, name among us uh, has now become the norm. Uh, oh God, oh the church is quiet. Uh, oh, one the time uh, you could not shock or praise God. Uh, but now that come the norm. Uh, one time uh, you could not have a kid out of wedlock. Uh, but not oh God Almighty. Uh, has become the norm. Uh, one time, uh, if you was a teenager uh, and you have a child, uh, if you live in Kingston, uh, they would send you to country. But now, that becomes the norm. Oh God, the church is quiet. Oh God Almighty, once if you live with somebody and you are not married, praise God, you will lose your job. Oh God, once somebody tell me back in her days as a principal, oh God, she get a baby out of wedlock and she lost her job. But now that becomes the norm. Oh God, oh God, now we are making mock of sin. Oh God, but the Bible tell me, hallelujah, mock all you want. Whatever you sow, that shall you also reap. Oh God Almighty, oh God, that's the law of agriculture. Whatever you sow, watch your oh God Almighty, that shall you also reap. You can't plant, plant, kill, oh God Almighty, and get something else. can't plant banana and get planting. That's not how it works. Oh God, the church is quiet. The church is quiet. Whatever you plant, that shall you also reap. We are at the day of judgment if you do repent of your sins. Now when you preach like this, people aren't saying, preacher, what you do? You won't scare me. I wish to God that this word would scare you. I tell people all the time, oh God Almighty, I prefer to go to heaven scared than to hell brave. Oh God. I rather to go to heaven scared than to hell brave. I tell somebody this week, praise God. Oh God, that's one of the reasons why I serve God. Although I love him, because I don't want to go to hell. Let me tell you, only a fool will go to hell. 
Only a fool will serve God. Only a fool we hear the word of God and turn with. It's not me saying it. It's the word of God saying it. The Bible said that there was a rich man. The Bible said he was called God boasted about his riches. The Bible said Jesus looked and said, No fool, tonight thy soul is required of thee. He was thinking of tearing down and building up. And Jesus said, You are a fool. God Almighty, the church is quiet. Let me tell you, praise God. If you put your education over God, you are a fool. If you put material things over God, you are a fool. If you put your house over a God, you are a fool. If you put your friends over God, you are a fool. Oh God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, if you put any things over God, you are a fool. You are an idiot. That's why we come to tell somebody that you need to repent. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, I usually praise God, think praise God, and I will say to myself that hell in a way kind of draconian. But the more I preach, the more I look, praise God, hell is just. This is me. And I preach it all the time. This is me. I'm not telling you to do it. But I believe that if a man hear the word of God and him live to see 50, 60, 70, and 80, and 90 and die without God, praise God, I believe he's a wicked man. I believe that he's a wicked person. For a person, praise God. Oh, God Almighty. For take God oxygen. You never dead by God, man. You never dead by accident. You never dead by cancer in your young age. And you live to see all age without God and die. You are wicked. And I decided, sometimes I try. Because of people think, well, sometimes I go, but I don't really want to go. If I tell you about God and you don't, and you die without God and you reach a certain age, I don't want to come to your funeral. That's waste of time. Oh, God Almighty. You are wicked. To take God sunshine. Oh, God Almighty. To take God oxygen. And you don't want to serve him. While people are dying. In young age. Remember praying for a man in his 90s. Can't walk. Oh, God upon the couch, blind. And I said to him, Sir, you would like me to pray for you. Oh, God Almighty. I think yes would come out of his mouth. All him said, Oh, God, to take the money from the church, he wanted to offer it. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus Christ. Even if I give him a million dollars, it could not help him. I just get up and leave. He's a wicked man. Praise to God for him. Oh God Almighty, the church is quiet. Huh? You are about to death. Huh? And you still want money. Huh? I never see a bridge. Huh? Oh God Almighty, huh? travel behind the earth. Solomon said, all is vanity. And vexation of spirit, oh God Almighty. Everything that you're living for and running after, you're gonna deadlift it. That's what we come to tell you. It's Jesus now. Oh God. If you don't bow now, one day you're gonna bow to Jesus. One day. One day, put all the pretty casting you want. Spend all the money you want to spend for your funeral. That can't save you. You need to be born again. You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You need to live a holy life. Nothing else can't save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ. Sleep in the cutlass all, all you want in your bed. 
Build your walls as high you want to build it. Oh God, put all the burglar bars you want to put it. Put all the cameras you want to put for your house. That can't save you. Sleep in the cold last praise God. That can't save you. Throw the oil all you want. That can't save you. One day, you're going to stand before God. Are you going to hear the word? Depart from me. He workers of iniquity. People killing up themselves now. When them dead, how oh, they want to bury? Oh God, killing up themselves. Oh God, the casting of money. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, as I conclude, certain things spread. God, I'm looking into that. I don't, I don't really believe in it. Even in the setup thing, this is me. That is not. This is me. I'm not putting it on you, praise God. I could not follow me, praise God. If me have somebody that lost, oh God, me have buried somebody. And I'm me to provide food for feed you, oh God. For you to come for cost more the food, it doesn't work like that. All is funny things and vexation of spirit. All I want to do is my soul right with God. I tell my wife, praise God, I'm wearing all the suits I can wear now. When I'm dead, I go, God Almighty, you can bury me in a pajama. Oh, God Almighty. I tell her, praise God, you can build a little box, praise God, out of plywood and put me into it. As long as my soul is right with God, that's all that matters. Make them chat all them want chat. No setup. Have a little prayer meeting. Oh God, and as yet o'clock, everybody for find them yard. Oh God. Use the money and live for God. For Solomon said, all is vanity. And vexation of spirit. What matters is Jesus. What matters is your soul right with God. Before you're dead, as you in, you even bury it. People are take away your clothes, bro. People are take away your shoes. People are take away your perfume. <laughs> oh God Almighty, that don't matter. Praise God. <laughs> oh God, what is matter? Your soul, right with God. <laughs> oh God, the house you kill up yourself over. <laughs> the bedroom set that you're killing up yourself over. <laughs> when you're dead, <laughs> if somebody else I enjoy it. That's why Jesus said, repent. Don't look about the things of the world. All you need is Jesus. Young men, killing up yourself over a woman, killing up yourself over money, that doesn't matter. Nobody is rich like Solomon. The Bible tells us when he's eating food one day, like 300 cow. 200 this, that, one day meal for Solomon. Oh God, his ivory tower. Solomon of what? 300 wife, oh God, and 700 wife, and 300 concubines. Solomon could change a woman almost for three years straight. Every day. Every day. Solomon of our next preps. And when Solomon look at it, he said, all is vanity. Vexation of that spirit. Can the church stand? Let me tell you, your little mattress. Oh, God Almighty, your little chandelier. Oh, God, your little knife and fork is vanity. What is important is the soul. Right with God. Give the testimony about a lady overseas. Working all her life. Very wealthy. Doing two, three jobs. Building a massive mansion. Out here. Living in a nice house over there. The kids tell her, mommy, time for you to take it easy. But she won't finish up her mansion. One day she come from work. Oh God. Drive up up in her driveway. Take out one foot, open door, take out one foot. And that was it. She died in her car. 
never get the opportunity to sleep in our mansion. Oh God Almighty. Jesus. Oh God. What matters is Jesus. Bible says man life is just a vapor. Today we are here. Tomorrow we are gone. There's a song we usually sing in Pentecost. Where will you spend your long eternity? Next song we usually sing. Have you make your final reservation? Oh God Almighty, who am I talking to tonight? There's a question that the Lord is asking you as you make your final reservation. Oh God. Let me tell you, if you don't make it the right way, what will be made for you? And I tell people all the time when I preach, you can't WhatsApp that. You can't Facebook that. You can't sell debt and email and say, don't come. You can't block debt. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, you can't put debt on pass. When debt come for you, you got to go. When you're going to the cemetery, it's a big grave, small grave, medium sized grave. I don't care a fuck. It might be a belly big like my own. There's a grave for you. Oh when I usually bad. Oh God. My God, Father, you shall have a word. He says, from I was young to know I'm old. I never see earthful. Oh God. I never see earthful. I never see nobody say, we're not in the space to bury him. Oh, God Almighty. So think that when you die, oh, God Almighty, there's no space for your big end. Oh, God Almighty, you have something else. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, there's a space. Not only in this earth, but the Bible said, hell, I've enlarged itself without measure. So hell I expand for you. But you can escape hell tonight. Somebody say escape hell. Oh God. Somebody say escape hell. Young people. Shopkeeper. Taxi driver. Escape hell. If you are here tonight, the altar is open. If you are a backslider, the altar is open. If you are running away from God, God is calling you tonight. The altar is open. Jesus, no. Jesus, no. Oh God. Jesus, no. Jesus is calling you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Could the church stand right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time is running away from us. We would not like to leave tonight without giving somebody to make a time to make a conscious decision. I believe somebody is on the brink of making a conscious decision right now. If you are here, Hallelujah. you have not yet been baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have not yet received the Holy Ghost. The call is going out for you right now. You need to make up your mind. This is not the first time you're hearing but this might just be the last time. I'm inviting somebody to step forward right now. Not yet baptized in Jesus' name. Not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. 
Hallelujah. Yes, singing is going to come and we are going to dance and we are going to have a good time. But guess what? All of that will not save you. The preacher just tell you, except you repent, you are going to likewise perish. So I'm inviting somebody who have not yet been baptized in the name of Jesus. Just to come. Come on, you know yourself, you know yourself. Come on, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. You're not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. It's decision time tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You might be sitting on your veranda. Something pricking in your heart. Come. Ah, you hear the voice of God speaking to you. Come. Hallelujah. You don't have to like the preacher, you know. You don't have to like the preacher, but the words are true. Come, somebody. Come, 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 come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, let Jesus have his way tonight. The time is now. Sir, may I invite you to the altar? Sir, sir, may I invite you to the altar? I'm begging you to come tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. This is not a laughing matter tonight. I said this is not a laughing matter. This is not something to smile about. Somebody is standing on the brink. And Jesus is saying, except he repent shall likewise perish. Is there one that is without the Holy Ghost tonight? Is there one that is without the Holy Ghost? Come on. Step forward to this altar right now. softly just sing it softly Ooh, sir I want to say to you tonight Jesus. I know this is not the first time you're hearing a message like this and as this preacher said we are not here to scare you but we're here to encourage you to make a conscious decision tomorrow is not promise to you and I the Bible said today if you hear his voice, hard not your heart. So here is what I want you to do tonight. Just forget about everything else. Close your eyes and just reason with Jesus. Just reason with him. Hallelujah. Let him know what is happening in your heart. And just put it all in his hands tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh. Jesus I see a little boy sitting there Can you just find out if he's baptized? Is he baptized in the name of Jesus? Bring him come, bring him come Hallelujah Jesus, 
Sweet. Is there anybody on the outskirts that have not yet been baptized? You have not yet been filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm inviting you to come tonight before we close this service. We want to pray with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that are listening over by the shop, we want to invite you to come on over. Let us pray with you. Let us pray with you. His way. Yes, singers, let us sing. Come home. Hallelujah. Worship God. Lift your hands and worship me. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, talk to him. Talk to him. Tell him what is on your heart tonight. Hallelujah. Folks, let me say something to you tonight. It is good if you just come and sing and clap. Yes, you'll probably lose some sweat and lose a few pounds. But that will do you no good. It is time to repent. It is time to make a decision. It is time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And that's why you're called to this altar tonight. Hallelujah. So just bow your heads, close your eyes, and talk to Jesus. Come on, talk to him. Don't stand there with your mouth closed. The Bible says with your heart you believe, but with your mouth confession is made unto salvation. So talk to Jesus right now. Come on. Hallelujah. My whole heart I'll agree And my answer will be yes Lord, yes I say yes, Lord, yes To your will and to your way I say yes, Lord, yes 
trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart i'll agree and my answer will be yes lord yes oh i say yes lord yes to your will and to your way Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me. With my whole heart, I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Oh, I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and Say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me. With my whole heart, I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. To the depths of my soul, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, completely, yes, my soul, say yes, yes, Lord.
Somebody just raise your hands to Jesus right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is no satisfaction without salvation. And salvation is found only in Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you need salvation tonight, you got to come to Jesus. And Jesus says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because of the curfew, we'll have to bring this service to a close. But I just want to say to those that are standing around the altar tonight, you have heard, you have heard more than enough to save you. The ball is in your court tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There might be voices speaking to you. Telling you that you have another chance. You can come tomorrow night. You can come Wednesday night. But tomorrow and Wednesday is not promised to you and I. Tonight is the night. And so one more opportunity for you to pray. Just close your eyes right where you are. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, church. Come on, church. Let us just stretch our hands towards the altar right now. Somebody needs a touch of the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to feel the anointing of God tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, somebody might be on the brink, ready to fall over, and they need Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Yes, we are going to pray tonight. Hallelujah. But just pray adventure, somebody. Somebody's making up their mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
let us just bow our heads right now father in the name of jesus lord we gather together tonight at this altar lord on this spot of ground jesus lord your words have gone forth tonight i pray that your words will not return to you void but oh god it will cut asunder the soul and the spirit lord let it discern the thoughts and the intents of the hearts right now lord jesus i pray for those that are standing around the altar lord god almighty they might not have liked the tone of the message lord jesus something might be stirring in their heart oh god lifting up a defense but i pray right now in the name of jesus that lord your word oh god will triumph over self let that heart be broken let that heart god become contrite before you lord jesus i pray tonight that somebody at this altar lord will surrender to you in the name of jesus oh god almighty we know not what tomorrow might bring we know god not when dead shall show up but tonight lord is a night of salvation and so i pray god for this gentleman lord god almighty i pray you move upon him right now holy ghost sit upon him right now jesus influence his thoughts lord speak to his mind oh god and allow him to make a conscious decision lord i pray for this young boy oh god almighty lord jesus i pray you move upon his heart lord god i pray tonight that the holy ghost will form in him tonight jesus and he'll rise up god to declare your word oh god almighty lord i pray for those that are seeking the baptism of the holy ghost jesus i pray tonight that your spirit will fall upon them touch their hearts lord god move upon them jesus and save them for an eternity great god almighty your word said tonight that we should repent or we shall likewise perish i pray jesus that somebody oh god will believe on these words i pray tonight that these words oh god will trouble somebody's heart and their mind and cause them to turn from sin unto salvation oh god almighty i thank you for the preacher tonight continue to use him god to speak to your people lord jesus i pray for every saint that is gathered at this part of ground oh god almighty move upon them lord oh god stir their heart jesus let the gift that is within them god be stirred into action tonight somebody needs to hear from you jesus somebody need a word to save them from the pit of hell oh god almighty tonight we acknowledge lord that you came not for the righteous but for sinners unto repentance and so lord we pray right now that the spirit of repentance will move throughout chapel lane oh god almighty let them not remain the same way they were but trouble somebody's heart tonight somebody that is in their rooms listening almighty god let them have no peace tonight oh god almighty let them run out of their house and run to the preacher tonight god and to seek after salvation lord jesus that young lady that is pregnant i pray for her right now in the name of jesus oh god that you lay your hands upon her lord wherever she is right now oh god her mind is depressed but i pray in the name of jesus oh god that you reach out your hands to her right now wherever she is right now god 
let her hear the sound of my voice oh God and give her peace father I pray tonight that you just breathe upon this spot of ground let every soul that is in this place tonight acknowledge you oh God Lord Jesus we thank you for the singing we thank you God for all that was said and done tonight and we pray that somebody will leave this place pondering in their heart making up their mind to serve you Lord Jesus thank you for what you did tonight, to last night one precious soul baptized with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Almighty God, we continue to look to you, knowing that it's not by our own might nor by our own power, but it's by your spirit. And so as we come to a close, we declare to Sharper Lane, Jesus now and forever. Father, as we're about to separate one from another, going towards several places of abode, I pray that you journey with each and every one. Guide them safely home. And if it's your will, then we'll be gathered here tomorrow night again to declare that it is Jesus now. Have your way, Lord. Breathe upon us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For those that are around the altar, I want you to leave. Go to your homes. But keep Jesus on your mind. Keep Jesus on your mind. Keep Jesus on your mind. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Brothers, brothers.